ManyChat has just launched their AI add-on and now it is possible to build your own AI lead generation assistants. You can let the flow builder build out your automations, use AI intents and much more. So in the rest of this video, I will break down what the AI add-on is all about and how you can use it in your ManyChat automations. Let's get started. So the first thing that we will talk about is the AI step. And I think this is the most promising feature of the AI add-on. So with the AI step, you can let the AI handle the conversation for you in just a number of steps. And then you can basically tell the AI what it needs to do at each and every step, whether it needs to collect information, and if it needs to collect information, where it needs to save it, in what many jet fields. And I think this is great if you want to build an AI lead generation assistant based on natural language. Because currently with ManyChat, for example, if you ask for someone's email and someone replies with my email is info at Chatamize, ManyChat will either give an error or will say, okay, the email is like that complete phrase. But we don't want the complete phrase, my email is info at Chatamize. We just want to grab that part, info at Chatamize.com. And that is possible with the AI step. And I think that's what the most promising feature is for. So when we head over to ManyChat and then click on new automation, we will start from scratch. And then when you click on the plus, or you can just click here, then here you have a new thing, which is called the AI step. And you can let the AI handle the conversations for you. And when you're starting out with this, I highly recommend starting out with one of their templates because these templates are like developed by ManyChat, they are tested out and they are working well. And my experience is that when you go with anything custom, it just takes more time to like fully make it your own and to fully customize it to your needs. So I highly recommend just starting out with one of these templates and then customizing it to your own business. So in this case, I will just start with collect clients information. And when you click on a template, automatically the goal, the scripts and the context is already entered. So the goal in this case is to acquire essential contact details to follow up and we can also determine the channel. So what's good to know is that all of these AI tools will work on any channel, whether you're using Telegram, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, it doesn't matter. So the first thing that you need to set is the goal and then you need to set the script. So the script is like a number of steps that you need to do in the conversation and you basically need to tell the AI what steps it needs to do. And for each step, you can determine what it needs to do and whether it needs to save the user reply. And in this case, it is greet the user, ask for phone number to facilitate a direct conversation, check the phone, check the number format is valid, and then you can save the user reply as phone. And what's good to know is that you can basically just choose any custom field that you're currently using in ManyChat. So this is great. So you can use this with like the system fields like first name, phone, email, but you can also use it with like your own custom fields. So this for collecting the phone, then we have another one for collecting the email, and then we are expressing the gratitude for the time and ensure a prompt follow-up from you. So those are basically like the steps that are in this simple example. And then you can also provide the context. So here you can provide the company name, so I can just fill in Chatamize. I can fill in like my website, my email, so I will just do that. And then they also have a part on why you are collecting data and the data usage policy. I would just remove that because that's not something that I'm currently using in my ManyChat automation. And then you can also add additional guidance for the agent. And like the context thing is basically what you would normally add, for example, in your ChatGPT prompt. So if you have like any additional context that you can give the AI agent, this is the place where you need to do that. So for now, I'll just remove that because I just want to show you how this works. So what you can basically do is click on save and start the chat. And then you can basically already test out how this will work on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, whether you will be using it. So it says, hello, to facilitate a direct conversation, could you please share your phone number with us? So then I can, for example, type in my phone number is, and then I just type in the phone number. And what's interesting with this is that usually when you're using a user input in ManyChat, it would grab that complete phrase or it would give an error. But with this AI step, ManyChat can understand that this is only the phone number and it will just remove that from anything. And the same is true with asking for the email. So when I just now type in my email is info at chatomize.com, 
then it will understand that only info at chatomize.com is the email and he will not do anything with this. So then it says, great, thank you for providing your contact details. And then you can also see that the collected information is the phone and the email and it actually removed all of that. And I think this is great. So again, you can basically use this as your own AI lead generation assistant with natural language and you don't need to use all of these user inputs again. So when you're done with this, you can just click on save and always remember that you need to fill in a channel. So you can go with Instagram, you can go with Facebook um, and then you can also see that over here and just connect that somewhere in your ManyChat automations. And what's also good to know is that you can also just use this AI step for just one thing. So it could be that you're just using it for collecting someone's first name or collecting the email and then go on in the rest of the conversation. So it doesn't need to be necessarily um, that you're doing like multiple things or multiple steps. You can only just do one thing. You can basically remove all of that, click on save, and that will be it. So I think this is really useful. And again, when we add another one, you can do more. So we can also suggest the best option from a list. We can reply to FAQs. We can promote our particular product. So I just recommend check out these templates, just play along with it, check how you can use that for your business and like customize that to your own needs and just check whether it's working for you. But again, I think this is a very promising feature. So that's the AI step. But we can also do another thing, which is basically let the AI build out a complete automation for us. So once we go back to automation, click on new automation, you can either click here on start with AI, or you can do that here with create the automation with AI. And then here you can just click on get started and then it will ask to describe your business in a few sentences. So what I do is I just fill in, I run a fitness coaching business, helping people to lose weight, gain more muscle or get fitter. So then it knows what the business is about. And then it asks, okay, what does the user needs to do during the chat interaction? And again, I recommend going with one of these options and maybe customizing it to your own needs later on. And I'll just show you what will happen when we choose the other one. But my experience is that your complete automation will be better if you're just using one of these pre-built things. And I also will think that ManyChat will add more of these pre-built templates like later on. So in this case, we will go with book an appointment and then we'll ask, okay, awesome. What kind of appointment are we talking about? So we are a fitness business, so we can say, okay, it's a one-on-one -on -one training. And then it says, perfect, we're almost there. Now let's understand how you want this automation to be triggered. In other words, when should this automation be sent to your followers? So we can say when the follower comments on my posts or reels. And then ManyChat builds out this automation for you. And then it says the AI generated automation is here. And then you can basically see what it's all about and then basically choose whether you want to use this automation or whether you like it or dislike it. So in this case, I will go with use this automation and then your automation gets automatically created. And I think this is great, especially when you're starting out with like new funnels and new automations in ManyChat. So if I speak for myself, I'm just way better if I see something on where I need to improve it than in starting something from scratch. So you can use this AI flow builder assistant to basically build out the funnel for you and then just like customizing where you want to customize and like changing the flow so it completely suits your needs. But as you can see, like it's all working, like uh, it inputted all of that stuff it asks to enter the name, asks to enter the email address, and then it thanks you for providing the information. Um, and what's good to know is that when he's building out this stuff, uh, it's also good to check all the user inputs because I've seen that like the AI is sometimes making mistakes with that. For example, in this case, we ask to enter the name and then I think the reply type should be first name. And the same is with the email address, like the reply type should be email and it should be saved to a system field instead of like the custom field he automatically added. So whenever the AI builds something for you, always make sure that you're testing it and checking whether it's working correctly, use the good custom fields and good user inputs. Uh, but I think this is a very promising feature and this is also just the first version. So this will probably improve over time. It will get better. It will collect the feedback that we'll get from the customers and yeah, it will get better over time. So that's basically like that flow builder. And what's also good to know is when you go with anything custom, so I will just go with a new automation. 
let's check this out new automation start with the ai and when you go with anything custom my experience is that it is less good at creating the complete automation for you and i will just give you a quick example so we can click on get started again then we'll say i run a fitness uh, coaching business just what i did uh, in a minute ago then click on other and then we say okay what should it build and my experience is that you need to explain the complete automation in like one go because it's also a possibility that you first explain what the goal of the automation is and then explain all the steps but my experience is that the ai is then less good at creating the automation for you so i highly recommend just like creating one big prompt and adding that over here so in this case i can add and i already created this before so what we will add is the following opt in for a lead magnet whenever someone comments with ebook on one of my posts this automation needs to start the automation needs to consist of four steps confirm the interest get the first name get the email deliver the lead magnet and the automation will be for instagram so when we hit this then the ai assistant is generating the automation and also my experience is that sometimes it will give an error and when it gives an error you can just click on regenerate and then it will work so Again, we can look at this, we can check, okay, is this working or not? We can just use this automation and then you basically have your lead generation funnel built in a minute or so. And again, please check out all the stuff. So for example, in my prompt, I said that this automation needs to start uh, whenever someone comments on one of the posts and he didn't edit that. So all of those stuff, it's good to check that as well. The same as like, um, the comments reply so we didn't add the comments so let's say we do that so we comment on one of the posts uh, all posts i'll just put in something so just so you know and then here if we select uh, the as the comments reply actually this doesn't work because we cannot use like that keyboard input in the comments reply so that's good to know that sometimes it makes these mistakes and the same is like with collecting the user input it saves the response to a custom field and we actually want to save it to like the first name so again i think this is really useful it's the first version it's very promising what we can do with this but you always should test whether it's working correctly whether it's saving the data to the right fields and all of that stuff so now that we let the ai system build our automations we actually need to improve the copy inside our automations and we can do that with many chats ai text improver so basically for each message inside uh, your automation you can just select it and then click on ai improve and then you can determine whether many chat ai needs to improve the text or write the text so in this case, I would just go with improve the text and then you can determine what it needs to do. So this is the text that we would like to improve and then we can determine what we need to do. So for example, we can re rewrite the text for the next goal so we can make it more converting and then click on improve and then ManyChat will give a preview and then you can also regenerate this. So you can get multiple stuff and it will just create a new Kind of thing each and every time and you can just basically pick one of them but we can also change the tone of voice for example we can make it more engaging so we can click on regenerate and now it is more engaging we can make it more marketing regenerate then it makes it more marketing and then we can also translate it and this is actually really useful that's something that i did for one of my clients so i have a client that is portuguese and i don't speak portuguese so what i did is i built out the complete many chat funnel in english and at the end i translated each and every message with this translate option and this actually saved me a lot of time because i didn't need to go to Deepol to google translate it was all in the flow builder so this is great and again you can just click on regenerate and then it regenerates the message and whenever you're like happy with the thing that it provides then you can just click on apply and it's automatically applied and sometimes it's like adding more spaces or like this kind of stuff so you can basically just remove that uh, but I think like this is great. It's really useful to like improve the copy inside your automations or to translate it to another language. And the last feature that ManyChat has added to their AI add-on is AI Intents. So with AI Intents, we can actually start an automation by detecting the intent of the user. So before we only had keywords and we need to fill in each and every keyword 
alert we want to automatically reply to. But with AI intent, we can just enter to what intent we want to reply and then ManyChat will just understand the intent of the user and will automatically reply to their question if the intent is triggered. So again, if we go to automation, click on new automation, start from scratch, then here you can click on new trigger. And then whether you go with Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, it doesn't really matter. So in this case, I will just go with Messenger. And then here you can determine whether you want to detect specific words in a message or you want to recognize the intention of a message. So here you can, for example, say the person wants to know the status of their order. And that's it. That's the only thing that we have to do. So now you can just click on create and then that's working. So we can activate this. Now you can basically add a user input. What is your order number? So this is like a very simple automation, but it will just show you that it's working correctly. So this will be a text order number and that's it. So that's great. And then if I preview this in Facebook, then it will just open Messenger. I can just show you how that works. And then I can just type, I want to know the status of my order. And then it automatically replies to that. So I can just fill in something. But also when I just say, what is the status of my order? Then it will also automatically reply to that. So before we also needed to fill in all of these different keywords. And then when it didn't match a specific keyword, then it didn't trigger, which is like not best for the user experience. And now ManyChat can just understand the intent of the user. And based on that, you can start that automation. And again, each of these features will work on any ManyChat channel. And my recommendation is just go into ManyChat, test out what works for you, what doesn't, get started with those templates, change them a bit to suit your own needs and check whether it's working for you. And then we have the last thing. What does this cost? And it costs $29 per month for one ManyChat account. And you can basically enable this under settings. So if you go to settings, then you have billing. And then here you have like the ManyChat AI and the price is $29 a month. For me, it's free because I have a ManyChat educator. So this is not correct. And then you can basically enable or disable that over here. And that's it. That's what the ManyChat AI add-on is all about and how you can use it in your ManyChat automations. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using ManyChat or on using the AI add-on, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.